in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways for you to relocate to Canada. If you move to Canada under this program, in just three years, you qualify to apply for the Canadian permanent resident and subsequently citizenship. Your children will be able to access health and education free of charge in Canada. The supporting spouse will have an open work permit, which allows them to work in any sectors of the Canadian economy. Anyone between the age of 19 to 55 can use one of the five programs under these programs to relocate to Canada. This is a fantastic opportunity to kickstart your migration dream. If you see my face for the first time, my name is Francis. On this channel, we share content about how to legally migrate abroad without needing to spend money on lawyers and agents. If your goal this year is to legally migrate abroad, the Launch Club will provide you the information that will enable you to achieve your migration dream without needing to spend money on lawyers and agents. And it's therefore in your best interest to consider subscribing to this channel, share this video with anyone that you know has aspiration to move to Canada, and make sure you leave your comment in the comment section. I want to know what your views are about this program. So I'm going to talk about the first pilot program now. Before I do that, the Atlantic province in Canada, which comprises of Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick, these four provinces combined have the highest numbers of immigration program to attract people to come and work. So if you are somebody who is looking to go to Canada, these are the provinces that you should be targeting because these are some of the easiest places to move to in Canada. Today, I'm going to share the programs with you that you can use one of the five programs to legally migrate to Canada. If you're seeing value for what you're hearing, make sure you consider sharing this video with anyone that you know will benefit. And don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section and give this video a like to show appreciation to myself and the team. So the first program is what is known as the New Brunswick Private College Pilot Scheme. The Pilot Scheme, this program, is designed to attract people that want to come and work in New Brunswick, that want to come in to the student room. The program is designed to attract people to come and study in private colleges in New Brunswick. The two private colleges that are taking part in this program as we speak is Eastern and Altim College. These two college, now private college in Canada, they do not give you post-study work permit when you study. They are not part of what is known as the designated learning centers. But in New Brunswick, because the government of New Brunswick have identified certain skills in New Brunswick that the government is struggling to fill job vacancies, what they have designed is that they are working with these two colleges. If you study courses such as nursing aid, cyber security, IT, accounting and logistic, and supply chain management and some other courses if you study one of these co this co uh, courses in one of these colleges as long as the duration is between 10 months to two years once you finish your study you will then be able to get permanent residence now, this is something that a lot of people are not aware of. So, keep it nice and slow, as I said. So, as I said, all you need to do is to study courses such as, they even have courses like 
housekeeping. As you can see, this is what it says. They say, New Brunswick Private Career College Graduate Pilot Program is for international graduates with skill, education, and work experience to contribute to New Brunswick economy and who are ready to live and work in New Brunswick permanently. This is not my word. This is what they are saying. You have to be ready to live and work in New Brunswick and study one of the courses that I've just mentioned. Don't worry, I also have programs for those that do not want to go through the student road. So just be patient while we start slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay? So, as you can see here, this is officially from the New Brunswick government website. Say, the objective of the pilot program is to make available an immigration pathway to international graduate from select of one year and two years program of study that leads to career in priority occupation in education, social development, health, IT, cyber security, business administration, and supply chain and logistic. So if you're someone that wants to study social development, early childhood, there are opportunities for you because New Brunswick wants you. All you just need to do, pick a course in either Alton or Easter College in one of those areas, study the course between the between 10 months to one to uh, two years. As long as the course is between 10 months to two years, you are good to go. Once you finish, you get permanent resident and you'll be able to stay there permanently to work. That is all you need to do. The link is going to be in the description section. This is a pathway that a lot of people are not aware of. So this is a fantastic opportunity for you to move to New Brunswick with your family. If you're seeing value for what you're hearing, please kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so. Share this video with anyone that you know has an aspiration to move to Canada and don't forget to give this video a like to support myself and the team. So the next program that you can use to move to Canada is what is known as the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program. This program, as you see on the government website here, it says here, it's a five years pilot program that addresses critical labor shortages in various sectors and across different regions in province. This one, all, they are employers, six employers in New Brunswick are taking part in this program. As you can see, say employer participation in, in pilot program are selected based on demonstrated experience and consistent use of both provisional and federal immigration programs over at least three years. So what they've done is that they've picked employers in New Brunswick that have track record of recruiting workers, treating the workers well, and giving them the support to make a successful transition to New Brunswick. There you have the employers. These are the candidates, okay? So you have Coke, Agriculture, DV Iventure, Group Savile, they have Imperial Manufacture, they got another company which is supply chain, this one only requires a minimum of secondary school qualification. Once you have a job from this employer, once you have a job from this employer, and the employer will then put you forward for nomination to this program. I will leave links in the description section of all the employers that are taking part in this program so that you can see for yourself. The next program that I'm going to show you now is for anyone that speak a little bit of bonjour, comment ça va, I mean French. If you speak French, New Brunswick is the only province in Canada that has official language, English and French. If you speak French, you go to New Brunswick, you earn more money because the Canadian government has a policy to increase the French speaking population which is currently less than 5% to increase the population because the French-speaking Canadians, they are not happy 
that it's only the English speaking people that are coming to Canada. So they want, they have been telling the government that they want the government to do something to bring in more French speaking people. That is why this program was designed. So if you, even if you do not speak French now, if you learn French, which you can take a language course, you learn French, you have a good opportunity to move to New Brunswick under this program. Let's see what this government says. It says, the New Brunswick Strategic Initiative Stream is for French-speaking foreign nationals with skills, education, and work experience to contribute to New Brunswick economy who are ready to live and work in New Brunswick permanently. As you can see, they all, say, they all emphasize it that you have to be ready to live and work in New Brunswick permanently. What does that tell you? If they do not need workers or they don't need skilled workers, do you think they'll be telling you that the condition for having this permanent residence that you have to commit to living in New Brunswick and working permanently? If you're seeing value for what you're hearing, please show appreciation to myself and the team by giving this video a like, subscribing to this channel, leave your comment in the comment section. Is there something that you think that we could talk about, which we're not talking about? Let me know what your views are, because this is hot now. Information is the key when it comes to migration. As you can see here, it says, this program, it says here you must have a eligibility requirement to receive an invitation. So once you meet the criteria, you meet, speaking French is the number one criteria in this program. You must speak French for you to be able to go. So if you're someone that understands, bonjour, comment ça va, je m'appelle, this one is for you. So take advantage. If you don't understand je m'appelle, but you want to go and learn je m'appelle, comment tu t'appelles, again, you can learn French. If you learn any French and you put it in any of your Canadian application, that increases your chances of moving to Canada straight away. That's the second program I have for you, my people. The next one that I have for you is what is known as the Atlantic Immigration Program. Now, this one is not only for New Brunswick. As I said at the beginning, the Atlantic province comprises of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Labrador and the beautiful Prince Edward Island. So the four of them combined together, they set up what is known as the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Again, this one, as you can see, says the Atlantic Immigration Program is a federal immigration program that helps employers recruit skilled foreign workers and international graduates to meet labor needs. Again, this is labor driven to address the shortage of workers in the Atlantic province. So this one, again, this is a requirement. All these programs, I am putting their link in the description section. For those of you that always say, oh, where's the description section? This is the description section where you have the title of the video under it. That's where you see the link and you'll be able to read them. Leave your comment in the comment section. I want to know what you think about this program. And this, this program, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to move to New Brunswick as we speak now. The last program that I have for you, because I'm trying to make this video very short, because I know some of you are trying to preserve your data. The next one that we have for you today is the New Brunswick Express Entry Profile. I always say in all my Canadian videos, whether you are ready or not, the day you say to yourself, I am thinking of moving to Canada, the first thing you must do is to go and create your express entry profile. It's not hard. Once you create your express entry profile, that is you telling the Canadian government that I, John, or I, Laura, I wish to migrate to Canada. You are expressing interest to move to Canada. Do that. That is a must. In the case of New Brunswick, this one is created as you can see he said do you have the skills qualification and work experience to fill a high demand occupation in new brunswick the new brunswick express entry stream provisional nominee connects to the federal express 
entry system and will increase your chances of being issued an invitation to apply for a permanent resident from immigration. Now, this is very important. So when it comes to express entry, the younger you are, the more points you will have. The more education you have, the more points you will have. For those of you who do not have what is regarded as formal education, although I don't believe any education is formal, you're talking about those of you that those of you that have trade. So if you're a plumber, mechanic, welder, bricklayer, you can take part in this program. But you must have a recognized trade certificate. You must have a recognized trade certificate that is recognized outside your home country because that is what you will need to use as your proof when you are applying for this very express entry profile. So you need to have reference from your employer to say that yes, you, you, they've given you reference, you need to have your result and you will also need to do English language profession proficiency test. I know other some people who have moved to Canada recently and they did sell po which is the alternative to IET and from what we have heard so far some people say that it's easier to get. So look at these two options if you're looking to move to Canada. So these are five programs that you can use only one to legally migrate to Canada. The four of them will give you permanent residence from your home country. The other one, which is the private college pilot stream. If you're someone who is considering going to Canada on a student road, don't waste your money. This is the program that you should consider using to go to Canada. All you just need to do is to pick a course in either education, early childhood, social and community service, health, housekeeping, cybersecurity, logistic and supply chain management, you have accounting and payroll just pick one of those courses in either old team or eastern college do between eight between 10 months to two years as long as the course is a minimum of 10 months you are good to go so the, once you finish your course you will get permanent resident so this is a fantastic opportunity and i hope that you've seen value for what you've heard don't forget to consider subscribing to this channel Share this video with anyone that you know wants to go to Canada. This is a fantastic opportunity, especially the private college pilot scheme. A lot of people are not aware of it. So if you know anyone that wants to go and study in Canada, tell them now to apply for this. Rather than going to Toronto where they will graduate and they will not guarantee them a job. Once you finish, once you finish a course in 10 months under this scheme, You'll be able to bring your family to join you in canada so make sure you do not take this for granted subscribe to this channel share this video with anyone that you know will benefit and don't forget to leave your comment and give this video a like i hope you see value for this content i'll see you soon